A century has passed since Indian filmmakers began telling stories in front of the camera. And yet, our storytellers are far from finding the right concoction of fiction, reality, cinematography, sound and theme. A film filled with problematic elements and toxic masculinity becomes a blockbuster. A film with a good message doesn't do wonders. But sometimes, a mid-budget film works to everybody's wonder. Article 370 failed to generate any pre-release buzz because, well, let's face it, it did not have a big A-lister or a big production house backing it. But here's the good news. This Yami Gotham film, which revolves around the abrogation of Article 370 of the Constitution that accorded special status to the erstwhile state of Jammu and Kashmir, seems to be growing on people. And it has a lot to do with the positive word of mouth on social media. Many have called it Yami Gotham's best performance yet. One called it a brilliant piece of art. Another, a deadly combination of substance, crispy screenplay and emotions. And it's not just regular folks like us saying it. Telugu actor Adivi Sesh couldn't stop praising the political thriller enough. And the collective praise has started to show in the numbers as well. As of Tuesday morning, the film has collected around Rs 34.71 crore and it is still growing. Considering the film was reportedly made on a budget of around Rs 20 crore, the numbers are good and the word of mouth is only getting stronger. So is it safe to say Article 370 is a sleeper hit? Can we now perhaps surmise the Indian audience like their patriotic film a little better, especially when infused with good narrative, emotions and great actors? And can we now come to a conclusion that we still have not devised a formula for a hit film? Cinegoers can like anything as long as it is entertaining. There's no place for boredom for sure. What do you say? Share your thoughts in the comments and make sure to subscribe to Shosha for everything trending in the world of cinema.